So it's been a little while since we've looked at logs. So I think it would help all of us if we got our heads back into gear and at the same time did some thinking that would help us work out what does this look like. That's what graph means. Uh, graphic as in it's a visual thing. So we usually, when we try to work out what a, what a graph looks like, if we have no idea, no clue, then we start to try out some values. And we draw a table just so that we can gather our values in a nice neat way. Okay. So here's what we're going to do here. Now, we've normally, don't write this down because I'm about to rub it out in a second. We've normally chosen values, whoops, I need my black one again. We've normally chosen values for x and y so that we can get a rough idea, like across the whole Cartesian plane, uh, is this going to look accurate? So for example, again, don't write this, we might have tried out values like this. We've done this, uh, this in the past, do you remember? Every time we had a look at, say, the parabola, the cubic curve, these were the values that we checked out because this is right in the middle of the Cartesian plane, this is a bit to the left, this is a bit to the right, and that was enough to get a pattern. Do you remember that? We've done this quite a few times. However, I know a few things about this graph in advance that will tell us that actually this is not a very helpful set of values to choose. You can actually do these, you just won't get as much helpful information as you need. So, the actual values I want you to write down are... The very first one, we're going to make it negative 1. The second one's going to be 0. The next one's going to be 1. You're like, so far it's still very, very similar. It's going to be similar for the next one too. But then here's where it's going to change. 4 and 8. Okay. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Okay, now, um, he didn't catch that I was, yeah, never mind. He wasn't paying enough attention. Um, <laughs> now, where, yeah, but you won't hear him, and it doesn't matter. So, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to test some values out, and then once we've got the values, we'll know the points that this graph goes through, and then we can draw ourselves a plane. Okay? So, let's think about this. I'm going to start at an unusual spot. I'm going to start here. Okay? Now, this is an x value. I'm going to use this x value to work out a y value. So, I'm going to <laughs> test when x is equal to 1 y is going to be equal to log, how do I read this again? Do you remember what words I actually say? Log base 2 of 1, with x, which is 1 in this case. So log base 2 of 1. So it's been a little while since we looked at log, so maybe you can't quite remember. What this means is there's a number that you can raise 2 to that power, and it'll give you 1. 2 to the power of something gives you 1. 2 to the power of what gives no, you 1? The answer is 0, because actually anything to the power of 0 will give you 1. Okay? So therefore I can say when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. Let's keep on going, and you'll see fairly rapidly why I've chosen these particular values of x, which seem a bit random at first. When x is equal to 2, y will be log base 2 of 2, because my x value is changing, you see that? Log base 2 of 2. Now remember what this means, it means 2 to the power of something gives me 2. Well, What's the something? It's 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2, so this is 1. You see that? So 2 to the power of 1 gives you 2. This is this weird sort of backwards way that logs are read, okay? We'll do one more and then you can do the last one. You can tell me the last one without us even writing it. Let's test out x equals 4. Okay. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. If x is equal to 4, then y is log base 2 of 4. So 2 to the power of something gives you 4. And you've already worked out the pattern. 2 squared is 4. So that's a 2. So now can you tell me what this is? 2 to the power of something gives you 8. Well, it's 3, isn't it? 2 cubed is 8. Okay. So now you can see why I chose these numbers. They were not at random. Okay. Now let's look at what's happening over here, because this is not what you expect. 
What's this one? Let's test x equals 0. OK. So this means if x is 0, y is going to be equal log base 2 of 0. Now, put your pen down for a moment. What does this mean? 2 to the power of something gives you 0. 2 to the power of... 2 to the power of... Now, we've already, we already know what 2 to the power of 0 is. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So 0 is not it. How about a negative number, like 2 to the power of negative 1? What would that be? That's a half. Your calculator can help you with this, right? Uh, 2 to the power of a half? What's that? That's the square root of 2. We're not getting 0, OK? In fact, there's no number you can put it here that makes this work, okay? Yeah, so what you've done is you've shown the limitation of your calculator, not found the answer, okay? Wait, is it kind of like how like, exponential curves, like they don't touch that? Ah, yes, we will come to this exact point in a second. So, Agni. Ordinarily, at least if you do not pay attention, you've got other resources you can have a look at afterwards when you decide, I want to revise for my test. I'll have, a, I'll have a read of this, and then that'll prepare me. This, you've got nothing. So that's why I want you to pay attention. Does that make sense? Say again. I'm not going to go all Obi-Wan on you, okay? So here, we've got no value here, no solution. Okay, so up here I'm gonna say uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put an X. I got nothing. I'm out. Okay. Now, what about this last one over here? Negative one. So, what's log base two of negative one? What power can I raise two to to get negative one? Did you say negative zero? <laughs> negative zero is zero. Um, if you try out negative 1, we already tried this. 2 to the power of negative 1 is a half. That's what your index laws all the way back then taught you. Okay. 2 to the power of a half, you should find is about 1.4. It's the square root of 2. None of these numbers are negative. Did you notice that? None of them. In fact, there's no power that you can raise this 2 to get negative 1. There's no answers here. Okay? In fact, no matter how far you go, you'll get no answers going all the way to the left.